Welcome to Sketching Scotland, a series of tutorials to help you draw our beautiful country. For this drawing, we're going exotic. We're drawing the pineapple. Not a still life, but the summer house in Earth built in 1761 in the shape of, you guessed it, a pineapple. If you're going to be doing lots of sketching, I would recommend you buy a few essentials. A hardback sketchbook and a range of pencils, pencil sharpener, a rubber or an eraser if you're from across the pond, a good seat and desk, kitchen table will probably do the trick, or you can draw on a tablet, as I'm doing on this demo. But all you need are the three Ps, paper, pencil, and a bit of patience. Okay, let's get sketching. So to start off with, this is quite a complex building, so we're just gonna make some basic shapes to give the overall structure of the building. I'm gonna draw perspective lines um, just to give us this main shape of the main building and then just block out the shape of the pineapple in a kind of oval shape and with a little top bit and then add a bit more detail. And then we're gonna start adding details into the building. So add the front door, add some of the ornaments. Just going to get the basic shapes here of, I don't know if you call it front door. I'm not sure what you call this bit. But yeah, we're going to block in these these kind of shapes in there. And then add some details. We're going to add, this is the details of the windows of the of the pineapple, these really ornate windows, but at the moment we're just gonna block in the basic, basic shapes. Um, so yeah, it doesn't look much like a pineapple at the moment, but it will take shape. So this is the, this is the kind of structural bits. This is the bit that uh, we're really gonna make, make or break the drawings. You gotta make sure that you've got everything in the right place, in the right perspective, um, really important that you do that before going into too much detail. Although, I can't help myself here. I'm just going to add a little bit of detail. Um, and now we've got that, we're going to go in and add all the leaves on the pineapple. So this is kind of fun bit. It is almost like drawing a uh, still life here. Um, the amazing detail actually on, on the building. So. Yeah, going to block out all the shapes here. First off, just getting all the kind of skin of the pineapple, and yeah, beginning to take shape as as the main the main shape. Going to add the little top bit there. I wish I knew the technical term for what that top bit is. Top bit of the pineapple, pineapple top bit, top bit pineapple. Who knows? And I'm rubbing out bits there. Um, hopefully, if you. If you're drawing it yourself, I would draw all that kind of those structural bits quite light, and then you actually probably won't have to go back and, and rub it out. I've just drawn them quite heavy because I want to be able to show you the the main shape of it. So I'm just going to add a bit more detail into the entranceway, just into some of the, the pillars there and the side entrance. Gonna go back up and add a bit more detail into the actual windows. Yeah, these are really, really ornate kind of windows, but and then just adding going over the, the lines with a slightly thicker pencil. Just beginning to really sort of define the shape of the of the actual structure, making it look a bit more organic. And again, if you've done this quite lightly, you might not have to go back and, and rub it out, but although you might want a nice kind of clean clean finish. So interesting facts about this place. Actually there is a curling rink or an old curling rink. It's not a curling rink anymore. Um, which is now a pond and a kind of home for lots of different kinds of wildlife and animals and mainly newts and frogs, all that kind of things like that. But yeah, it's a really rich place, not just pineapples. I don't know if you know this, but you can actually go and stay in the pineapple. So it's actually a self-catering accommodation. So you can 
say that you lived in a pineapple. Not many people can say that. Maybe SpongeBob. Um, so I'm going to go in here and add more detail into the shadow. Um, again, you can use the side of the pencil here to make this a bit, a bit faster. Uh, even use your finger as well to kind of smudge in the the, the shadows. You can also you can actually visit this place as well on a just for a day trip as well. It's a really nice kind of walk in the gardens. Can't go inside it because um, it's self catering accommodation, but uh, you can have a little wander about in the gardens and and take in the architecture and all the the wildlife and the this really nice woodland walks around. Quite a nice part of the world. And if you're staying here as well, it's quite close to the Kelpies and the Falkirk Wheel and near Stirling as well, so you're kind of actually right in the middle of, of Scotland, so you can kind of see loads of different places um, like this. That place is really well kept as well, it's um, owned by National Trust for Scotland, so the gardens are, are really well kept. I'm just going to add a bit more detail here into the, the background. Another interesting fact about this place um, the actual pineapple was added as an afterthought. It wasn't actually in the original building. It was added in 1777 when the Earl of Dunmore returned from his travels in America. So, an afterthought pineapple. So I'm going to add in more detail into the background here. So, just start loosely. It's quite, there's a lot of trees and stuff. It's a really nice kind of afternoon walk if you, if you come for an afternoon. Um, so there's lots of trees in and around, so I'm just going to add a lot of detail into that. And then once I've got all that detail, I'm just going to go back in and just fill in some of the darker parts. Just fill in more of the, the shadows, a little bit more of the definition within the Joe building. Um, you can add a bit of colour. What's really nice is to use some watercolours and just add a little bit of colour into it. Um, so you can get really nice different shades. Lovely. Yep, yeah, that's the pineapple. When you've completed this one, why not try sketching another location? We'd love to see your sketches, so please send them to us using the hashtag SketchingScotland. It's not quite the same as being here, only in Scotland can you appreciate the full beauty of these types of sites. But it should keep you busy until you can come and sketch in person. For now, happy drawing! <laughs>